channel. So I did a Sam's Club haul. That is on a separate video. I just showed what we bought. But now I'm going to show you how I prepackage everything. I actually did a video of this months ago, actually probably when I first started my channel. But I thought I would just go ahead and do this one. I'm just going to show you what I have before and then I'm just going to put some music to it while I'm vacuum sealing it and then show you what I ended up with after I package everything out. Okay, so this is what we are starting out with. I have my great big pork loin. I have some chicken breast. I have ground turkey, salmon, pork tenderloin, ground beef, and two big chuck steaks, which actually these I'm not going to cut down because we like to have these like when we have company come over on Sunday or something, just throw one in the crock pot. So these I'm just going to package into two separate packages. So I'm going to put the stand up and just kind of go through. I'll put a little bit of music and show you how I'm doing it. Basically what I'm going to do is cut the pork loin into pork chops and maybe like a two pound pork roast. And then everything else I'm just going to kind of usually portion it into one pound packages or one and a half pound packages. And I forgot about our steaks over here. The steaks we're actually going to be having tonight. So I will take two pieces. I'll do a big piece for my husband and a small piece for me. And then I'll just package the other one for another night. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle. All the future and what's been. Cause it's the way it goes. And I will never know why you let me go. Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I move on I got it, I got it Feeling high, feeling low at the same time 
time Feels so right, then I'm wrong Hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump Oh, what a fool So I ended up with six dinners of six ounce pork chops. So I'll have a six ounce for me and a six ounce for my husband. I have two that ended up eight ounces and then I have a two pound roast. So basically that $18 pork loin made 14 pork chops and a two pound roast. So we have $13 worth of pork tenderloin, and this is how much I got out of it. So one, two, three, four, five, six dinners for my husband and I. Bring me down whatever, call me off whenever, I got time whenever now. You look great, however, this can't wait for the better Let us talk forever now Cause baby, you and I, we lay awake at night Trying to find a light, to keep this spiral light Oh baby, you and I, we can't deny this fight Oh, this fight I'm drowning in your arms, still I want it all Cause I deny it
So I'm all done packaging my meat. That was quite the chore, but it is so worth it. This right here is about $150 worth. Because of buying it bulk, if I were to buy this individual like this, I guarantee you I would spend a lot more than $150. So this is definitely worth it to me. I'm gonna kinda just go through and show you what I ended up with. So I have five packages of 90% ground beef. I've put it into one pound packages. I have five packages of ground turkey in one pound packages. I just write the date on here that I do them just so that I know. Um, is sometimes I end up, like right now, I actually have some pork chops from the last time I did it, so that way I'll know to use those pork chops before I use the ones I did today. I then have uh, the chicken breast. I have two of them in one pound packages, and then the rest are in 10 ounce packages. Usually when my husband and I eat meat, we usually eat around five ounces each. Unless it's salmon. Y'all know we, we love salmon, so we always eat more of salmon. I have a uh, top sirloin steak that I split. Um, we're actually having some of that tonight. And then the chuck roast. The chuck roast, which actually my vacuum pack, I need to redo that because my vacuum pack started getting hot at the end. I guess it was a little tired, so I need to redo that one. So I have the two chuck, lo chuck roasts, and then I have a two-pound pork loin roast that I made with the pork chops. And then on my pork chops, I ended up with six packages of two six ounce pork chops in each one. And then I have one package that has two eight ounce pork, eight ounce pork chops in each one. And then I have pork tenderloin, 10 ounces of pork tenderloin in each one. And I think I had, yeah, I had one, two, three, four, five, six packages of those, except one of those was 12 ounces. And then my salmon, I have uh, four pounds of salmon here. So this one is kind of like, what I do is I just cut the ends, the weird shaped ends, so that I have three packages that have pretty decent um, equal size. I have, I split it into three. And then I have the one that kind of has all different pieces in it. So that is about $150 of bulk that I just pre-packaged and will put in my deep freezer. So I guarantee you will not see me doing any meat on my grocery, my upcoming grocery hauls will not include meat. So it is, if you have the time to just take a day and do bulk, like I said, that's going to last quite a while. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.